Parents have the right to look at their teens' texts. I had one parent tell me, we don't look at our son's text messages or Facebook account. We think he needs some privacy. Well, obviously because she was telling me this, she thought this was a sign of good parenting. But I kind of wonder. Hi, my name is Rick, and thanks for joining me for this No Perfect Parent podcast, where I just share a few tips and things I learned while I was going through my parenting journey. You know, I agree that a teen needs some privacy, but I wonder if what this parenting couple were seeing as privacy was actually abandoning their son to walk alone in a minefield of incredible temptation. An online world of endless perversion is stalking each and every one of us on our phone and on our computer screens. You don't have to look for it. Like a hungry beast, it's out hunting for you. Now, do you think your teenager can stand up against such a constant onslaught all by himself? I know I wouldn't have been able to, and, well, statistics say that I'm not alone. You know, this isn't a privacy issue, and it isn't about trust. It's about protection. We all need people to hold us accountable. You know, I'm 65 years old, but my wife has full access to my phone, text, online, anything she wants to see, she can see it. It's not because she doesn't trust me. It's because I don't trust me. I know sin is still at work in me, and privacy in these areas easily becomes access for the enemy. You know, 1 Corinthians 10, 12 says, whoever thinks he stands must be careful lest he fall. You see, when we think we got it all made, we are heading for trouble. Your teen needs you to protect him or her from those who desire to prey on them through social media, websites, text messages, and a variety of photo and phone apps. Even more critical, they need you to protect them from themselves by making sure their online life is one of transparency and openness. Well, how can you do that? Well, I know of two families where the teens understand that at night, the cell phones are left on the kitchen counter. Mom and dad have passwords and free access to text, photos, and apps. Computers, notebooks, and other electronic devices are always open for inspection. I also know the teens in these families, and they don't feel distrusted. They feel safe knowing mom and dad are aware of the dangers that they face every day. What if my teen doesn't want to be protected? (laughs) You know, your teen needs you involved in their online life, but that doesn't mean they'll necessarily know it or like it. Even if you lovingly explain why it's your responsibility to safeguard them, they may still scream foul and complain about it. But remember when you used to walk them in the parking lot and they were toddlers? Oh, they wanted to run ahead of you. They wanted to take off here. But you held tightly to their hand, no matter how much they squirmed or squealed. You knew there were dangers in that parking lot that they couldn't see or understand. Well, friends, nothing has changed except the dangers are more subtle and more enticing, your teen still needs you to be the adult to hold tightly to their hand because they can't see or understand all the dangers. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12 says this, Two are better than one, but pity the one who falls and has no one to help him up. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Parents, your teens need you to be involved in their life, not only their real life, but their virtual life, their online life. Hey, if you like these short podcasts, take a moment to share them with someone you know that would benefit from them and subscribe below so that you get each and every one. Folks, this is not a dress rehearsal. It's the real thing. It's the only chance we get at parenting our kids. And it's important that we do it right. And to do that, we need to follow the principles given to us by the Creator. He knows us, he knows our kids, and as we take his word and apply it to training them, they can become all that God and that you want them to become.